and the tiger, he had just my whole arm in his mouth. I could like feel the warmth of his stomach almost. That 18 year old girl says she may never regain control of her arm after that tiger attack. It happened at a Roan County Tiger Sanctuary last month and tonight she describes the terrifying minutes she spent trying to pull her body away from that big cat. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan shows us how she's doing now. It was terrifying. A single misstep may cost Summer Stevens control of her arm. As soon as he got up my arm, I knew that it was over. I thought I was going to die. When she tripped and fell at a Roan County Big Cat Sanctuary last month, her hand went into Eeyore the Tiger's cage. Crazy painful, especially once he got up to my shoulder and he was yanking on my arm. It almost felt like I could feel my muscles ripping. <laughs> For the 18 year old straight out of high school, it was a dream job. I've always been an animal person. I love, love, love animals. Working long hours for only $350 a week, but with exotic animals she loved. On the day of the attack, she hurried. The tigers had not eaten in two days. Then she tripped. As soon as the tiger grabbed my hand, I knew that I wasn't going to get it to let go of me. Five minutes in, she says her boyfriend saved her. He jammed a stalk of bamboo in the animal's mouth, forcing Eeyore to let her go. Nobody knew what to do. Um, one of the coworkers was putting chicken in the enclosure, which the tiger had no interest in once he had my whole arm in his mouth. Can you hear me, honey? Yeah. Okay. Paramedics arrived half an hour later. I'm doing okay. I'm struggling a lot trying to learn how to do things differently. Now, more than three weeks after the attack, her arm remains bandaged. It's very likely I won't have full movement back um, in my arm and my hand. Over the course of two weeks and five surgeries, doctors grafted new skin onto her body. On her left hand, a cast encases her ring finger. Otherwise, she'd have this on it. I was extremely happy. Her boyfriend, the one who saved her life, proposed at the side of her hospital bed. If I have an arm, if I don't have an arm, he still wants to be with me. He loves me. He's here for me. A love story rescued from the teeth of a tiger. Reporting from Knoxville, I'm Cole Sullivan.